Hello friend welcome to my channel today I'm going to tell you about obesity. In this video we will cover Introduction Types of obesity Causes of obesity Morbid obesity Is obesity defined by your weight? Complications of obesity Treatment of obesity So let's get started. What is obesity? Obesity is a complex, chronic disease with several causes that lead to excessive body fat and sometimes, poor health. Body fat itself is not a disease, of course. But when your body has too much extra fat, it can change the way it functions. These changes are progressive, can worsen over time, and they can lead to adverse health effects. Types of Obesity Healthcare providers classify obesity into class types based on how severe it is. They use BMI to do it. If your BMI is between 25.0 and 29.9 kg per square meter, they put you in the overweight category. There are three general classes of obesity that healthcare providers use to evaluate what treatments may work best for each person. They include Class 1 Obesity BMI 30 to less than 35 kg per square meter. Class 2 Obesity, BMI 35 to less than 40 kg per square meter. Class 3 Obesity, BMI 40 plus kg slash m superscript 2. Causes of Obesity Eating more calories than you burn in daily activity and exercise, on a long-term basis, can lead to obesity. Over time, these extra calories add up and cause weight gain. But it's not always just about calories in and calories out, or having a sedentary lifestyle. While those are indeed causes of obesity, some causes you can't control. Common specific causes of obesity include Genetics, which can affect how your body processes food into energy and how fat is stored. Growing older, which can lead to less muscle mass and a slower metabolic rate, making it easier to gain weight. Not sleeping enough, which can lead to hormonal changes that make you feel hungrier and crave certain high-calorie foods. Pregnancy, as weight gained during pregnancy may be difficult to lose and might eventually lead to obesity. Certain health conditions can also lead to weight gain, which may lead to obesity. These include Polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, a condition that causes an imbalance of female reproductive hormones. prader willi syndrome, a rare condition present at birth that causes excessive hunger. Cushing syndrome, a condition caused by having high cortisol levels, the stress hormone, in your system. Hypothyroidism, underactive thyroid, a condition in which the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough of certain important hormones. Osteoarthritis, OA, and other conditions that cause pain that may lead to reduced activity. Morbid obesity. Morbid obesity is an outdated term for class 3 obesity. In medical language, morbidity means associated health risks. Doctors referred to class 3 obesity as morbid because it was most likely to come with related health problems. Is obesity defined by your weight? Healthcare providers commonly use the Body Mass Index, BMI, to define obesity in the general population. The BMI measures average body weight against average body height. As a generalization, healthcare providers associate a BMI of 30 or higher with obesity. Although BMI has its limitations, it's an easily measurable indicator and can help alert you to obesity-related health risks. Complications of obesity Obesity can lead to more than simple weight gain. Having a high ratio of body fat to muscle puts strain on your bones as well as your internal organs. It also increases inflammation in the body, which is thought to be a risk factor for cancer. Obesity is also a major risk factor for type 2 diabetes. Obesity has been linked to a number of health complications, some of which can be life-threatening if not treated. Type 2 Diabetes Heart Disease High Blood Pressure Certain cancers, breast, colon, 
and endometrial. Stroke. Gallbladder disease. Fatty liver disease. High cholesterol. Sleep apnea and other breathing problems. Arthritis. Infertility. Treatment of obesity. Your complete health profile will determine your individual treatment plan. Your healthcare provider will target your most urgent health concerns first, then follow up with a longer-term weight loss plan. Sometimes there may be quick changes they can recommend for an immediate impact, like switching your medications. The overall treatment plan will be more gradual and probably involve many factors. Since everyone is different, it may take some trial and error to figure out which therapies work best for you. Studies have repeatedly shown that intense, team-based programs with frequent, personal communication between your provider and you are the most successful in helping people lose weight and keep it off. Homeopathic Treatment The following homeopathic remedies may be recommended for weight loss, calcarea carbonate, made from oyster shells, graphites, made from carbon, pulsatilla nigrans, made from pasque flowers, windflower, natrum muriaticum, made from sodium chloride, ignatia, made from the seeds of the street ignatius bean tree. Thanks for watching. Doctor Online 24-7 By Dr. Sanabawani